first episode of I Am Mongolian TV show. Our today's guest is going to be Ixing, and she's going to be competing for Miss World 2017. Let's welcome! Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. Hello, my seven billion brothers and sisters. I'm Gritty from the land of nomads. Life is a gift from the nature. The Mother Earth helps us to find our true self. We consider the sky as our father and the land as our mother. As a part of the nature, we love our land as our parents. Over the 6,000 years, our culture has evolved and followed the laws of nature. I'm very proud of my father, who summited the Everest twice. He says, one must overcome the storms and thunders that life throws to your face. I'm climbing my own mountain. Us Mongolians cultivate from other nations' cultures, and now we are here to share the secret of preserving the beauty of the nature. I'm Angie from Mongolia. Coming here when you are like so busy preparing for Miss World. When are you leaving? You're leaving in two days, right? Uh, I'm leaving on Friday. Right. So when so more you must be really left. busy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So today we have a wonderful audience, and uh, we're gonna have interview with them and me, and then it's gonna be interactive interview. Okay, I'm excited. All right. So um, as all of you know, she's gonna be. Uh, competing for Miss World 2017 in Sanya, China, and uh, uh, we're so excited to uh, have her on this show as a very first guest of our show. So let's start with the question, what is Miss World to you? What does it mean? Uh, for me, Miss World is much more than a beauty pageant. I feel like it's a big project that can really make a difference in this society, in this world, to create a beautiful world, all of us together. And there will be 130 delegates from different countries, and all of them are representing their countries in order to make a change in their own home country. So I believe that it is such a wonderful competition, not just a competition, I would say. It's such a wonderful opportunity yes. for Mongolians yes, exactly. to, you know, kind of uh, show the world like mm -hmm. who we are and what we do, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm sure that our uh, audience have questions for you. So hi, Ingston. Um, what uh, um, daily routine do you uh, follow every day? And um, diet? and stuff? Um, do you do yoga or um, do you eat meat or veggies and stuff? Are you asking that question because she's such a wonderful, beautiful woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I see your skin is very healthy and beautiful and um, maybe I can, like, you know, make my skin prettier. <laughs> Thank you. I start my mornings so with meditation and yoga and meditation is an essential part of my day as it helps me to stay focused and balanced throughout the day and um, after that I make fresh um, juice and also I try to make very healthy breakfast to stay all the right amount of nutrition as I'm a vegetarian 
I'm grateful for everything I have and for everything I am. And I'm grateful for my family and my friends. I would say I'm very grateful that I have such a wonderful family and wonderful friends who always cheers me up when I'm down. And when I'm happy, they are always there. I like to spend my time with my family and my friends as they are really important for me. Awesome, okay. Can I have another question from our audience? Go ahead. Hi. Um, so you studied interior design in England. Why did you choose this subject? What fueled your interest for it? Uh, when I was 12 years old, I used to watch this uh, channel on Russian channel called TNT. And there was this um, show called Shkola Remonta. Uh, it, <laughs> now I'm starting to speak in Russian. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. I mean, they can understand Russian too. Really? And we okay. have Russian audience in the world also. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I was watching that sh um, that uh, show, and it was very inspiring for me. I was I felt like oh, I really want to study interior design, and it's so interesting. It was changing people's lives, you know. And in in that small apartments, they were just uh, using some simple techniques to make it very beautiful. So for me, it was very um, like uh, inspiring, you know, it was such a great uh, experience for me to see how those uh, apartments were transforming into such a beautiful apartment. I'm an aspiring interior designer who loves art and design. I'm very passionate about interior design. In Mongolia, interior design is a growing field and for a young uh, entrepreneur, it's a difficult field, I would say. In Mongolia, most of the interior design and architecture company owners are male and all are guys, <laughs> but there are only a few um, female owners and I'm one of them. And for young uh, designers, it's a difficult field as we need to face uh, with different challenges every day. Interior design is my passion. I love doing interior designs and I love working with my team. And we see this as, as our hobby and it's not, it doesn't feel like work. So we have like fun at the office and we just enjoy our projects and every project is very challenging and interesting for us. I believe that it's really important to enjoy what you are doing as it will help you to succeed. And if you, when you enjoy what you do and when you love what you do, you will definitely succeed in your life. And I believe that it's the greatest joy in life to enjoy what you are doing. You know, you're an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and also participating Miss World. So that's uh, as far as we know. Besides that, like what other fields do you challenge yourself? Like, uh, for instance, uh, if you uh, if you were invited to stare in the movie, like feature in the movie, would you act for that? Um, one of my dream is to be an actress, but not mm -hmm. like to be a real actress, just mm -hmm. like play one role mm -hmm. <laughs> in one movie and that's it. Uh -huh. And I would also would love to write the book uh -huh. before I die. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, I think I'm a very active person, so I challenge myself in different fields. Uh -huh. I like to do uh, ballet and I like to do contemporary dances mm -hmm. and I even um, trained boxing oh, wow. <laughs> because my father was a boxer and he was young mm -hmm. so since I was a little girl he would always like teach me how to punch <laughs> wow. yeah. so, yeah. so speaking of your dad can you uh, tell us a little bit about him and what he teaches you and then what's the main principle that you know, you carry from him? Mm. My father, he's a very brave person and he's always very positive. 
he, he always sees the good, good in everything. Mm -hmm. And even in, in a very uh, hard situations, he will always find something to overcome this, you know. <laughs> and uh, he climbed at Everest twice. And in his, in his last climbing, it was almost impossible to survive. He, he was climbing without oxygen mask. And, you know, there is not enough oxygen up there. So it was almost impossible to survive because so many people have died because of that. But because of his this inner strength, he survived. And he made the impossible possible. So. It, for me, it's very, um, you know, motivating. I, I, I always learn from his actions, and he's also one of my big role model, and he always uh, teaches me important lessons in life. You, you said he's a climber, and then yes. climbed Everest twice. Yes. So he, he's even closer to the nature than you do, right? <laughs> okay. So, I'm pretty sure that he's the one who teaches you to be close to the nature. So you now love nature, so you're inspired by nature, and you get energy from nature, and then you also want to give back to the nature, right? Yes. So I'm, uh, I heard that your uh, humanitarian work is related to giving back to the nature. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> In Mongolia, there are so many beautiful untouched lands, so it's very inspiring for me. And I grew up very close to the nature, so I have this kind of connection with this, with nature. And even now, we live very close to the mountain, but I see that this climate is changing, and because of the human activities, the this 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 land, our land is. Uh, we're losing our beauty and we're losing our beauty of the nature. So it made me to think that what can I do to save this? What can I do to stop this? And uh, as I grew older, I grew up older, I understood that I, I can take an action. And I used to think that it was very difficult to make a change as I'm young, just a young entrepreneur and to change this soil pollution, this air pollution, I would need a lot of uh, funding, for instance. But I, I have understood, when I took one step, I have understood that it was uh, just one step that will uh, open big door in front of me. And when I started to take an action, when I started to do real research, I have understood that there are many people who are willing to to save this land, to save our nature, and who are worried, really worried about the climate change, who are really worried about soil pollution. I started this research um, a year ago, and I've been meeting many different people. And after winning Miss World, I also met with uh, different people who were working on this project. We were working on this pilot project in Hinti, and we worked on school dormitories um, toilet because uh, they used to use outdoor toilets and as you all know in Mongolia in winter it, the weather goes up to minus 40 and those small kids they all go to go outside just to defecate and for me it's very sad and there it causes so many infectious diseases, so I felt like we need to change that. That's why we did this pilot project in Hinti. So we replaced it outdoor wooden toilet with um, indoor proper sanitation. And I hope to change lives of 450 people in that small province unit. And I'm hoping that we can change all other provinces in Mongolia mm -hmm. with uh, indoor proper mm -hmm. uh, sanitation. Mm -hmm. So all Mongolian kids, all the kids around the world also can have proper sanitation as it's just uh, one of the basic human need. Right. And it's very sad that out of 3.1 million people, 
2.1 million people do not have proper sanitation in Mongolia. And in, in the world, uh, out of 7 billion people, 3.1 million a billion people do not have proper sanitation. So it's a very big number. So we really need to all unite and create. So you have done services. research on that, and yes. then you have a solution for that. Yes. Nice. So you need support for that. Yes. <laughs> That's why you're going to the Miss World and yes. say, "Hey, I need support, and I need. <laughs> I, I want to help my fellow Mongolians who is not, you know, who don't have a proper." Toilet, okay. That's a wonderful thing that you started. So speaking of that, I'm pretty sure that our audience have a question for you. Hi, Go ahead. Hi. Uh, my name is Tingun, and uh, I have two quick questions, two quick questions for you. First is, would you still be considering uh, doing that community work even if you were not the ambassador of Mongolia? And the second question is, is your dress custom made? Because that is one beautiful gown. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I would be still. I would have still done this project. I have started this project a year ago. I was, I was doing all the research that are needed to complete this project. But I was. I I needed um, funding, and I needed a team, bigger team, to to really make it uh, a reality. Uh, but then. Um, I found out that there are many projects, ongoing projects there are, and I can be one of them. And so I can um, put my part using my designer background. So I felt like I could create um, very well-designed uh, indoor toilets, you know. And because as design really affects our, um, our mind, that's, that's why I, I think I can really help to make a change. And this gown is made by Au Couture. And yeah, thank you for the designer who made this beautiful gown. <laughs> it's custom made just for you. Uh, yeah. That's beautiful. All right, so I have uh, one last question and thank you all for the beautiful questions for her. So in the scale of one to 10, how much excited are you for Miss World? 2017. I mean, yeah. I'm like uh, very excited <laughs> to meet mm -hmm. all the um, talented representatives uh, from 130 different countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to meet all of them, and I'm excited for the journey and for the experiences that this uh, competition offers. Mm -hmm. So I would say I'm 10 percent, 10 point. Mm -hmm. Excited. 10 out of 10. 10 out of Not 10. Not 11. Yes. <laughs> 10. <laughs> All right. We, we would like to wish her uh, good luck for your participation in China, representing Mongolia. Everybody give her a round of applause. Now she's Miss World Mongolia 2017. She has a great responsibility in front of her to successfully participate in Miss World, representing her very country. Inkhtin Sivendash is an aspiring young woman whose life is fueled by her goals and passion. Her dad climbed the top of the world Everest twice because of his philosophy in life to reach his goals at any cost. Inkhtin considers Miss World as her Everest as it will enable her to serve back to the nature in bigger scale. From learning new dance choreography to getting her outfits made, she took a best use of her busy days before leaving for Miss World. It was impossible for her to prepare and participate to Miss World without help of her friends and families, businesses and sponsors in Mongolia, and it proved how Mongolians can unite for one another. <laughs> She's got used to living on her own since she was young, as she studied abroad. Leaving her home and parents were not as hard as it is today. Inkchin couldn't help shedding tears of happiness. She is walking towards her goal and dream.